Hey everyone. Today we're diving into a truly heart-wrenching and controversial story that's left a community in Georgia reeling. This story has not only shocked the local residents, but has also sparked a nationwide conversation about gun control and parental responsibility. I'm talking about the tragic events at Appalachie High School and the shocking legal turn involving the suspect's father. Now imagine this, a normal school day turned into a nightmare. Four lives lost, two students and two teachers. The entire school was thrown into chaos with students and staff running for their lives. All of them had dreams, aspirations and families who loved them dearly. They were more than just names, they were beloved members of their community. But in a matter of moments, everything changed. The sense of security that once enveloped this small town was shattered. The suspect, 14-year-old Colt Gray, is now in custody. His young age has added another layer of complexity and sorrow to this already devastating situation. But the story doesn't end there. The legal ramifications are far-reaching and have taken an unexpected turn. Authorities have also arrested his father, Colin Gray. This development has left many in disbelief, questioning how such a tragedy could have been prevented. Why? Because they believe he provided the firearm used in this horrific act. The weapon, a semi-automatic handgun, was reportedly not secured properly, making it easily accessible. Yes, you heard that right. The father is now facing serious legal consequences for his alleged negligence. A Christmas gift gone horribly wrong. What was meant to be a symbol of joy and bonding turned into an instrument of tragedy. Colin Gray faces multiple charges, second degree murder, involuntary manslaughter and child cruelty. These charges reflect the gravity of the situation and the legal system's attempt to seek justice. The community is left grappling with questions. How could this have happened in their town? What signs were missed? Uh, how could a father allow his son access to such a deadly weapon? The questions are endless and the answers are few. And more disturbingly, why didn't he take action when he knew his son had made online threats? These threats were not vague. They were specific and alarming. Back in May 2023, Colt had posted alarming threats online, raising red flags all over. These posts were a cry for help that went unanswered. Yet Colin Gray did nothing to restrict his son's access to the gun. This inaction has led to devastating consequences that will haunt this community forever. It's a decision many are struggling to comprehend. The community is in shock trying to make sense of this senseless act of oh, this case has opened up a heated debate about parental responsibility and gun safety. It's a conversation that is long overdue and desperately needed. How do we ensure that firearms are kept out of the wrong hands? What measures can be put in place to prevent such tragedy? And what role should parents play in this? The responsibility of safeguarding our children extends beyond just providing for them. It includes protecting them from harm. Well, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is working tirelessly to uncover all the facts. Their findings will hopefully provide some clarity and lead to justice. Meanwhile, the community is rallying around those affected, offering support and seeking answers. In times of tragedy, the strength of a community is truly tested. In times like these, it's crucial to remember the victims, Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angulo, both just 14 years old, and teachers Richard Aspinwall and Christina Irimi. Their lives were full of promise and their loss is immeasurable. Their lives were tragically cut short, but their memories live on in the hearts of those who knew them. They will never be forgotten and their stories will serve as a somber reminder of the importance of vigilance and care. As we wait for more details to emerge, let's focus on healing and advocating for stronger safety measures. It's a collective effort that requires the involvement of everyone in the community. It's a tough conversation, but it's one we need to have to prevent future tragedies. Open dialogue and proactive measures are essential in creating a safer environment for our children. Thank you for watching. Your engagement and awareness are crucial in driving change. If you found this video informative, please consider liking and subscribing. Your support helps us continue to bring important stories to light. Stay safe and take care of each other well. Until next time, let's work together to make our communities safer for everyone.